This is the tale of Mr. Morton. Mr. Morton is who? He is the subject of our tale, and the predicate tells what Mr. Morton must do. Mr. Morton walked down the street. Mr. Morton walked. Mr. Morton talked to his cat. Mr. Morton talked. Hello, cat. You look good. Mr. Morton was lonely. Mr. Morton was. Mr. Morton is the subject of the sentence, and what the predicate says he does. Mr. Morton knew just one girl. Mr. Morton knew. Mr. Morton grew flowers for Pearl. Mr. Morton grew. Mr. Morton was very shy. Mr. Morton was. Mr. Morton is the subject of the sentence, and what the predicate says he does. The subject is a noun. That's a person, place, or thing. It's who or what the sentence is about. And the predicate is the verb. That's the action word that gets this subject up and out. Mr. Morton wrote Pearl a poem. Mr. Morton wrote. Pearl replied in the afternoon. Pearl replied by a note. <laughs> Mr. Morton was very nervous. Mr. Morton was. Mr. Morton is the subject of the sentence. And what the predicate says, he does. The cat stretched, the sun beat down. A neighbor chased his kid. Come here, kid, come on. Each sentence is completed when you know what the subject did. Mr. Morton knocked on her door. Mr. Morton knocked. Mr. Morton sat on her porch. Yes, he just sat there and rocked. Mr. Morton was a nervous man. When she opened up the door, he ran. Mr. Morton climbed up his stairs. Mr. Morton climbed. Mr. Morton rhymed pretty words. Mr. Morton rhymed. Mr. Morton was lonely. Mr. Morton was until Pearl showed up with a single rose. Who says women can't propose? Now Mr. Morton is happy, and Pearl and the cat are too. They're the subject of the sentence, and what the predicate says, hey!